what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to learn how to apply a shimmer animation effect to any component in your user interface so here i just did a button for an example and it has this nice left to right shimmer effect this effect is actually courtesy of facebook they're the ones who originally wrote it they use it in their apps and it's super, super cool. So if you're into that, if you're excited, if you're into iOS and Swift, definitely start by dropping a like down below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe to stick around for Swift videos. Get Xcode ready, get excited. Let's talk about some shimmering animations. All right, we're gonna begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project here. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a project name of shimmering example. Make sure your language is Swift and your lifecycle is set to UI kit. Go ahead and continue, save it wherever you'd like. And the first thing we're gonna actually do is we're actually gonna close this Xcode window since we need to bring in uh, the dependency to get shimmering working. So we're gonna bring that in via CocoaPod. So you wanna go ahead and open up terminal and CD into your uh, project here. If you're not familiar with CocoaPods, I've got a separate video on uh, CocoaPods and how they work, but we wanna go ahead and run pod init to initialize CocoaPods. That'll create a pod file that we can go ahead and then open. And in our pod file here, we wanna go ahead and add the pod uh, called Shimmer Swift. Make sure you lowercase that P, that uh, text that it loves to uppercase, otherwise you're gonna hit a issue. Go ahead and close it and you can run the command now for pod install and that'll go ahead and install that CocoaPod. Should be fairly quick, we can see it installed here, version 2.1.1. Uh, if you have a separate or different version, not a problem, any version should work. But now we can close up terminal we can open up our project folder again, and we wanna open up the XC workspace here. So now that we've got that open, I'm gonna expand our project folder at the top left here. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna hit the play button to compile and uh, get our app building and showing up in our simulator. So there is our simulator, we're compiling here. And while it's doing that, we're gonna jump to our view controller file where we will be writing our code. So just give it a few seconds. There is our app and it has launched. So let's, let's add a shimmer, let's do it. So the first thing we wanna do in here is we wanna import that uh, framework we just brought in, which is called Shimmer Swift. And then we can just create a shimmering view. So there is uh, two aspects of the shimmering view that you need to understand. The first is uh, create a shimmer view, then set the shimmer view uh, content view, and then I guess the third aspect would be uh, start and stop animation, just like that. So the content view is basically any view that you would apply the animation to, whereas the shimmer view is a thing that actually animates. So this is the way that you get the flexibility to get this event, rather get this uh, animation, without having it being constrained to like a button or a label, you can apply the effect to anything. So we're gonna create a shimmer view which is called a shimmering view. You wanna give it a frame, we're just gonna give it a random frame, 00, 0250 by let's say 50. We are going to add this as a sub view to our view controller's view. And I'm also gonna go ahead and center it just like that. Now our content view for the purposes of this uh, video, an example, let's start off with a button and then we'll also take a look at some text. So the first one I'm gonna do is a UI button. The frame is going to be the shimmer view dot bounds. And we use dot bounds, so it's zero, zero uh, in the shimmer view. And then I am going to say uh, shimmer view and its content view will become, let's see, content view will become the button. And I also want to configure the button a little bit. Now, one thing you'll notice is I didn't say add sub view to shimmer view. We want to assign it to the content view. But let's go ahead and stylize our button a little bit. We'll give it a nice background of a system blue. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, perhaps give it a title of uh, cool uh, effect. Let's 
going to be for the state of normal. I'm also going to go ahead and let's see, we'll give it a nice little corner radius and then I'll, I'll stop uh, playing with the style here. We can go ahead and see what the shimmer looks like. So finally to get the actual animation playing, you're going to go ahead and say uh, shimmering. So we have shimmer speed and all that good stuff, which we'll get to in a moment. But is shimmering, we're just going to set that to true. So let me comment this out and just run it without it. What you'll notice is you'll just see a very average, typical looking button in the middle here. Nothing really fancy by any means. But if we go ahead and uncomment that is shimmering, what you'll see here, and it's kind of subtle, but you'll see this nice shimmering animation from left to right. And it is in fact continuous. And if you wanted to just stop, you would just assign this to false, you know, whenever you want it to stop. So very, very trivial to set this up. And it definitely gives a little bit of a cool effect in your app. Now you want to be a little careful with this animation and not use it all over the place because then it's just going to look like Disneyland and it's a little too much. But let's take a look at some of the configuration options we have on here. Um, I am going to say right here, we're going to configure a few things. We'll say the shimmer. And you can see there's a few things. There's shimmer opacity, the speed, the direction. You can set the fade time, begin time. There's quite a few things you can actually set. So let's go ahead and take care of, uh, let's take a look at some of them. So we'll say the direction, let's say this is, let's do down. And I'm also gonna set the shimmer speed. And if we actually look at the description here, this is the speed of the shimmer animation, a point uh, rather in points per second. Uh, the higher the number, the faster the animation. So we're going to try, let's say, three. And we'll see what this looks like. So let's go ahead and give this a run. And I want to say it's going to be pretty fast. Uh, apparently not. Apparently that's super slow. Let me go ahead and uncomment, rather comment the speed. Let's give that a run. Let's make sure our animation is going top down first. So it looks like sometimes this direction isn't actually what we want it to be. So let's try right. Give that a go one more time. The configuration is a little hit or miss sometimes here. So you have to kind of play with it. Um, let me go ahead and let's try the speed again. Let's try one and let's see what ends up happening. But uh, all the configuration does end up working. You just gotta be patient with it. So uh, let's see, it should be shimmering. I can't recall if we want this to be a floating point or not. We're gonna try and make it 0 0.2. And let's see, we definitely still don't see it. So I am gonna click into this and see what value it expects instead of guessing. So defaulted saying is 230. Okay, so that's why it's uh, not working because we're giving a ridiculously small number. So let's go with 300. That should speed up our animation a smidge where it's noticeable. All right, there it is. We definitely see your animation again, definitely faster. Let's go with 500. That might be a little too fast, but just for the sake of this example, there it is. We definitely have our animation, kind of obnoxious, but you get the point. So cool, that is a button. Let's create one more uh, content view item. So uh, instead of the content view being a button here, let's go ahead and uh, create a label. So what I'm gonna do is actually copy and paste this whole thing right here. We're gonna change this to be a label. We're gonna get rid of all of this good stuff here. I'm also gonna change this to be a UI label. We're gonna ass assign its text to be hello world. And I'm also just gonna give it a nice uh, bolder font so it doesn't look as uh, small as the default does. We're gonna give it a system font of size 32 with a font weight of bold. And of course, we now need to assign it as our content view to our shimmer view here. So we'll say label. And let's go ahead and get rid of this shimmer speed because we don't want it to be that fast. And finally, go ahead and hit Command R to build and run. And there it is. And we should see our text. There is our text. Now it's not centered because I didn't align it to be centered, but we now have this text with this cool shimmer animation. And uh, that's basically it. That's, that, there you have it. That's how you add a shimmer effect into your app. Uh, you might know this already. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the beginning too, but the shimmer, effect was originally written by Facebook in Objective-C. It was ported to Swift, but that's where uh, this effect kind of comes from, if, in case you were wondering. Kind of cool to be able to use the stuff that Facebook's using in their applications. Uh, I want to say this still uses in the Facebook and Instagram app. I think I've seen it somewhere recently, but 
but that's it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. If you have any questions, definitely leave it down below in the comments. Love hearing from you guys. Love hearing any video suggestions. What do you guys want to see? Let me know. And of course, if you're into iOS and these daily Swift uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe to join our community and learn something new every single day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.